It's official. The United States on Thursday eclipsed China, Italy, and 170 other countries for the most cases of coronavirus. The U.S. is now zooming past 85,000 cases and over 1,300 deaths. This makes Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards mad, very mad, because skyrocketing coronavirus cases in Louisiana are putting the state almost in the lead for the outbreak. We are tied for number two in the entire United States of America with New Jersey when it comes to cases per capita. He's not happy that many Louisianians are still refusing to stay home. And you literally have within the power of yourself to say what? It could be your own, it might be your spouses, it could be your parents, it could be your next door neighbor, but you have it within your power, the opportunity to save lives if you will simply minimize the contact that you have with other people. The governor is angry because Louisiana's numbers per capita show the virus spreading like wildfire, mostly in the New Orleans area where Mardi Gras saw over a million revelers pour in from around the world. While they partied for the month of February, the coronavirus epidemic began exploding in China and Italy. It's kind of human nature. You see things happen and you say, well, that's somebody else's problem. We, I need all the other people to comply, but I don't necessarily have to do it myself. Well, that's just wrong. Compliance being stay at home and keep your distance. The governor is upset over the 28% rise in one day of cases and deaths. As of noon Thursday, Louisiana coronavirus cases soared to 2,305 cases. But today, Friday, that number shot to 2,746 spread across 54 out of 64 parishes. Nearly 800 are in hospitals. 119 Louisianians have died. Among the last, again in New Orleans, a 17-year-old. Orleans Parish overwhelmingly leads the state with 1,170 cases and 57 deaths. Jefferson next door is second with 548 cases and 24 deaths. Then the virus jumps north to Caddo Parish's 140 cases and two deaths. The capital city of Baton Rouge is now fourth with four deaths out of 124 cases. Mayor Sharon Western Broom and civic leaders open an emergency warehouse while pleading for medical supplies because our future from where we are today with the curve that we are on is not promising. Why would you want to take the chance on bringing it home? So while we left essential businesses open so that people can go to the grocery store and to the pharmacy and to the bank and to the gas station, you don't have to go every day. Super Bowl winning quarterback Drew Brees and his wife Brittany have stepped up, committing $5 million to the state of Louisiana for much needed supplies and meals. This morning, Friday, after his upbeat live interview on NBC's Today Show, anchor Hoda Kotb, who spent much of her career in New Orleans, broke down on live television and was unable to continue. The emotion and the message is slowly sinking in. America is in a deadly crisis. That's why many Louisianians are in compliance. Parents, kids, and grandparents are FaceTiming. While the quarantine is preventing coronavirus fever, it is creating cabin fever. I thought you liked playing with your brother. I do, but sometimes it gets boring. To break the boredom, now going into the third week at home, eight-year-old Evangeline and four-year-old Jules turn the tables on mom and dad, but they don't get far. But when it came time to discipline, his method was to growl really loud. So he was like, growl. Out of the mouths of babes and governors. Leo Honeycutt, WLFT, Louisiana News, Baton Rouge.